Nice. We got there, eventually. Pyrrhic victory. Yeah, a lot of units lost, but we got there. And that was their capital, so taking this would be quite nice. I'll probably raise it, recolonize it, just recruit more units while I'm there. It's just those Thunderers, like if they get a lot of shots off, they do a lot of damage. And uh, they, my Deepwood Scouts had to be in range of them in order to attack them. I probably should have had them off to one side to begin with, like I did afterwards. But uh, hindsight's twenty twenty. Okay, so that's the pair of victory there. We will raise it. Thank you for the cash. Uh, let's get back into Karakazul for the 5k. Nice. So I think what we're going to do, uh, just because I need more like melee forces... We're going to go with like just a bunch of Dryads to fill out the army, I think. And we need melee forces that can go on the walls. I would get some Eternal Guard, but... The issue with the Eternal Guard is they have really low weapon strength in comparison to Dryads, as you can see. And melee attacks slightly lower as well. Melee defense is a lot higher on Eternal Guard. The other option is is maybe a Wild Red Ranger or something. In order to uh, scale the walls, but we should be fine just replacing our units when and when we need them. Like when and where we need them. Not likely. Right, time for Isratot to make a move. Oh, I really I think we can we can do this. I'm gonna put him into raiding stance again. I think we're just gonna attack them anyway. We'll attack Bretonia, we'll attack Um the Empire. Or we just wipe them both out. We saw Harris says Dwarves are the bane of my all my Warhammer campaigns. <laughs> That's very true. That's why I'm taking them out as soon as possible. Because <laughs> uh, I know, especially for the Wood Elves, they are really, really irritating. Moving on to the next turn. I didn't actually mean to press the end turn. I thought there was another settlement upgrade or something that I had to do, but oh well. We'll watch our... Agents move away. Lord Hammer's saying attack, then in a few turns, peace out with the Empire. Right now, the Empire is more interested in the North. That might work. We'll have to wait and see. This is an interesting battle. It says it's no way in our favour, but I feel like we could pull this off. Maybe. Um, the main issue is they're the leaders. Um, they have end leg, proud, proud beard. But uh, our hawk rider should be able to deal with their rangers quite nicely. So we'll just try and get on top of them as quickly as possible. I'll get my archers to hit their slayers. I'm just gonna like run up in their face. Are those are yours? And we'll attack those slayers straight up. Riders. All right, let's go.
Right, there's all of the uh, other ones. Right, that's going to allow my dryers to catch up and we will just wreck them. We're going to allow the Deepwood Scouts to keep killing off the Slayers. Training a unit of Dryads for Slayers is really good. No, making that happen is nice. Nice. Right, so we've got two units of uh, Hawk Riders on those Rangers now. Here come the reinforcements, but I don't think they're going to be there in time. Pretty much suicide central for these dwarves. Just uh, roll on over here and start kiting these reinforcements. Oh, the Slayer's are dead. Looks like their rangers are going to be dead soon as well. I just attack the miners because they have like the least armor, I think. Awaiting orders. For Lady Ariel. I've pretty much done the job there, which is good come back with some of these dryads. I might just let the hawk try and finish them off. Ever ready. Quickly, at once. Just come into the back of these rangers with these hawk riders. We'll send one back to Flat attack the rangers there. Nice. And their miners are nearly dead already. Which is good. Target their ranges. Gonna come in with the Hawk Riders onto those now. We'll let these Dryads engage their Dwarf Warriors and Miners. One of the tree can come over as well. I think the uh, Eagle's done over there, so that's fine. Bring him back to attack Enlag Proud Bid. These Dwarf Warriors are literally just going to be shot point blank because Deepwood Scouts are just kiting them. I think we play this uh, pretty damn well. Not quite over yet, but should be relatively soon. The miners are going there. Once these dwarf warriors start to rout, it should leave only their lords. If the entire army is dead, then what are the lords going to do? Who knows? Trample them! Smash them! Okay, almost used up all of our ammunition. And we're very close to making them route. Right, 
some of those rangers came back. I'm probably just going to kill them off with the last few rounds that we have. Yeah, there we go. That is victory. And the battle there that saves us losing a settlement. Not that it really matters. It's just a lookout. But that kills off two armies, which is good. Stops uh, Dirthu having to chase them down. Yeah, with that war with Bretonia, I reckon we can probably destroy Bretonia pretty damn quick. And then focus on the dwarves there, Kalag Ziflin. And by the time we've done all that, I don't think the Empire is going to be particularly aggressive, maybe. I I'm, I'm hoping. You never know. And one of their armies died completely from that battle. Just uh, speed on through the end turn as usual. The only thing that can really happen in this end turn is Kalakazul attacking us. Because we already saw Clan Angrand move. Here we go. What is Groth Stormbreaker going to do? Probably attack Crooked Fang Fort, right? Yeah. Um, I'm actually tempted to take this on. Just to do some damage, like maybe take out these Grudge Throwers. That would be quite useful if I'm able to attack that army in the future. So yeah, we'll go for that. We'll weaken it a little bit because we do have that army nearby. And if we do as much damage as we can in this defense, maybe we can jump over here and sort them out. Old Hammer says, too bad this game did not incorporate some of the better innovations of Warhammer 2. Garrisons with actual leaders. Um, well, this is Warhammer 2, but it's Mortal Empires DLC. Um, but yeah, I get what you mean. It's, it's the foundation patch that they need to add into the game. Uh, and they will do it, I think, in January. I think they're, they're planning to, maybe later on. Um, it's like early next year. They're going to incorporate a lot more of that stuff into the Mortal Empires campaign. But until then, you've got to rely on mods, and I don't particularly want to. Um, so, yeah, let's just uh, line up our men. Don't have a forest we can hide in, do we? Or fight in? I mean, does this count? I don't think it does. Yeah, the old world is still the old world. <laughs> Very true. Ever ready! Start the battle, and um, we will just have these guys in one control group. I'm actually just going to have them attack me forwards, and then we'll have the others come around the flanks. And what I want to do is ideally engage my front line, then have the Hawk Riders um, engage their missile forces. We might just have the Great Eagle go straight for the Grudge Thrower anyway. Actually, we probably get all of the, our stuff to go straight for the Grudge Thrower. I'm going to come down into those great weapons with both units of Hawk Riders. Just do as much damage as possible with the charge. We are demolishing that unit, which is good. Bowman, uh, we do need to be careful of our own Bowman. Because we, we should be able to outrange them. Riders of Cavalry. Oh, we do have long beards engaging us. With haste. Just try and At get out of speed. here if we can. Swiftly. 
At once! Right! Now! Hurry! Orders received! Athol Lauren! Deepwood Archers! Yeah, we just took a lot of damage there. I don't think I even took out the Roach Throwers, did I? Break formation! Now! Hold back! They shall fall! We'll do as much damage as we can. Although I feel like we're gonna get absolutely massacred. Mm, probably better than the auto resolve, I think. Got to pick our targets. The Saint Harris is saying, interesting to see which factions they could add for Warhammer 2 in future DLCs. Pretty sure the Tomb, Ca Tomb Kings are coming in January, from what I've heard. So Tomb Kings will be one. I'm not sure about other factions though. I think we're more likely to see like Warhammer 3 than loads of DLCs this time around. Michael Jenkins asks, is YouTube and gaming your full-time job? Yeah, I do YouTube full-time at the moment. Yeah. It's hard work though. Like people would, you probably think that like playing games for a living is is really easy but it's not it's fun don't get me wrong and i love my job but it's definitely hard work and i try very hard for you guys because i've got it i mean i'm not like a massive channel you know it'd be so easy for me if i if i was much bigger let's take this non-aggression pack maybe if we have that characters definitely won't get involved in this conflict Right, just so you know, guys, um, we're probably going to be going for another. Let's see. 40 minutes or so. And then I'm going to be leaving it there for tonight. Thanks to everyone who's uh, watching on the stream, by the way. And of course, those who are watching on the board. Much appreciate it. Pretty good uh, battles in that end turn. It was a shame that we didn't fully kill off the. I thirst for the hunt. Yeah, shame we didn't fully kill off Not the Grudgedra, and that is going to replenish. But we should have our army from Karakazul soon. So he can help us with Strasslave Wreck. Uh, Groth Stormbreaker, so that's okay. Let's uh, move Circo towards here. He's going to replenish. Probably going to have Stresslaith go and hang out next to him as well. Buddies have returned together. They love each other very much. I'm going to call them brothers. Alright, so Earthblood's leveled up. I think we'll just go with the uh, replenished troops there for Durthu's army. And uh, speaking of which, we need to do his quest battle, so let's do that. We'll get him out of the settlement in normal stance and teleport to his battle for the Sword of Daith. So Durthu had suspected the hand of the necromancer Heinrich Kemmler. But instead, his nefarious student was behind the undead horde. The damp and pallid hallmarks of Kemmler are all over his protege's work as he advances on the forest with his desiccated horde in tow. The forest must be protected, and Durthy will give no quarter in its defence. Let these dark and twisted fiends feel the wrath of the Deepwood with the wrathful ancient as its instrument of war. Let's go. 
Battle Deployment. We will quick save it and fight it on the battle map. Be juicy. Get Dirt through a badass weapon. I meant to read that rather than cancel it, but there we go. Blood Knights are anti-large. They deal with Treacan quite well, I think, if they are left to their devices, but uh, we will not allow that to happen. That initial army is pretty bad, I think. Gotta love Dirthu's language. Right, so we will probably just start right in their face. No reason not to, really. have the tree kin. Roll up behind. What I'm going to do, put them in the control group. Do the same for the tree kin. So our archers can start in range, pretty much. Okay, we'll start the battle. Group 1 charges forwards, group 2 charges forwards. Group 3 just moves forwards a little bit so they can actually fire. And then we have our wild riders on the flanks. Oh. Get Dirthu in here. Get the number pendulum down straight away. into the back of the Blood Knights there. Right. Let's charge into the Black Knights as well. Enemy reinforcements. We have Bats and Kratoras coming in. I should probably have a couple of units of tree can deal with each of these crypt horrors. We'll turn around a couple of archers here to attack the bats. Blood knights are dead. That's good. And it looks like pretty much their entire army is crumbling. Children Even more reinforcements Lord. coming in now. Archers. Glade guard. Enemy Lord is dead. That's good. Oh, here comes Dire Wolves. Okay. Glade guard. They also have some of these Vargeists as well. Let's uh, try and break off some of these men to help out our archers. Wild riders. Glory to the eternal right, let's get my wild riders to engage well. their hounds. And the bats have caught up with the fell bats. But 
we're going to basically just charge or attack the Vargeist with the arrows, and that should cut them down to size pretty damn quick. More bats engaging us, that's fine. Our riders destroying the dire walls there, we'll go get the other ones. That's good, I'm pretty sure all of our units are engaging, maybe not the branch wraith here, but that's fine. That was misplaced. Never mind. I'm gonna get Dirthu to like run over here after he's cast that as well. Good. Alright, that's pretty much it. We've just disintegrated all of those units. We're going to disintegrate the Vargeists. And uh, then we will go finish off the Crypt Horrors. Okay, well, they're gone. <laughs> it's basically us versus these crypt horrors. The forest does not rest. And what we'll do is just uh, melt us mystify miasma on them. And they should disintegrate very shortly. There we go. All dead. They've won the day. Close victory. So that is all of Dirthu's quest battles done. He now has access to the Sword of Death. 